What's up guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.3 Beta 1 to developers, and there are so many features in this update, lots of exciting things to take a look at, so let's go ahead and jump in. First up, there are four new Animojis in iOS 11.3. They look like this. You have Line to choose from now, Dragon, Skull, and Bear, which are pretty crazy. Animojis are, are fun to mess around with. They're not like the craziest innovation ever. They're more of a gimmick than anything else, but that being said, they're still really fun and there are four new characters coming in iOS 11.3. Let me know which one of these is your favorite down below in the comment section. I think if I had to pick one, Dragon definitely looks the coolest to me. Following the four new Animojis, inside of the Health app there is a new feature called Health Records and as you can see right here, you can view a number of different things. You can view your allergies, medications, lab results, immunizations, and I'm sure a number of other options as well. You can also do medications, procedures, clinical vitals, and uh, conditions as well, like heart condition or, or something like that. I think this is gonna be really cool if you sync it up with hospitals or you can receive your health records from hospitals and clinics and, and save them on your phone or if you ever wanted to share them with a family member or show the last time you were diagnosed with something or the last time you received some immunization. I know that's something that I always forget about and the fact that Apple is adding these to the health app in iOS 11.3 is pretty sweet. For developers in iOS 11.3, there is ARKit 1.5, so ARKit is the platform that allows developers to integrate augmented reality and AR into their apps and for a long time vertical services didn't really work that well. So in iOS 11.3 there is official support for vertical services which is a big deal. Those are walls and doors so if you want to actually put things and project things on walls or other vertical services now it should be a lot better with ARKit 1.5 and iOS 11.3. Now for everyone who is patiently awaiting the reintroduction of messages in iCloud. This is a feature that was present in the iOS 11.0 beta during the summer, but eventually removed. That is finally back in iOS 11.3. It's a really great feature that allows you to sync all of your messages through iCloud so that regardless of what device you're on, your iMac, your iPad, your iPhone, everything will be completely in sync. There were definitely times in the past where my phone would be out of sync with my Mac and then my Mac would be out of sync with my iPad and I have three or four different messages threads with different people on different devices, it would get really confusing really quickly. So I'm so happy to see that that has been added back in iOS 11.3 beta 1. After installing iOS 11.3 on a device for the first time, when you're setting it up after updating, you're gonna get this new screen right here about privacy. Apple has basically created a new icon to show when an Apple app or feature is asking to use some of your personal information. And Apple talks a little bit about believing in privacy, how it's very important to them. They won't show it for everything, but only things that collect your data. Privacy was never a huge concern on my iPhone for me in the first place, just because Apple takes it extremely seriously already, but it's nice to see that they are being even more transparent than before. Also on the main page of the settings app, there is an updated icon for privacy there as well. If you go on over to the home screen, the iBooks app has been formally renamed to just Books now, which is kind of a change that no one was asking for, that no one had any idea would be coming in the future but the official app is now titled Books instead of iBooks. I don't really have an opinion on this. I don't use the iBooks or now the Books app in general unless I have to view a PDF, and even then, I found better apps to do it in. In the App Store under the Updates tab, you can now see more information about app updates. You get the version number and the size of that update now, which is really nice. I thought it was strange that the brand new App Store debuted on iOS 11 without this information in the first place, but we finally have that back in iOS 11.3. This next feature is called Business Chat, but you can't really take advantage of it just yet. This is a screenshot from Apple's official press release on iOS 11.3, and you'll be able to, later this spring, talk to businesses like Discover, Hilton, Lowe's, and Wells Fargo straight through the Messages app. That's what's really interesting about Business Chat, is you'll be able to talk to these companies through the native Messages app on your phone. I like the idea of Business Chat. I don't know if it's gonna take off. I don't know if I'll ever find myself wanting to use it because I, I have a hard time seeing these companies just completely switching over to Business Chat from their proprietary first-party chats on their website, but we'll have to see what happens. It's a cool idea, and I'm sure more businesses will continue to adopt this in the future. So that's a quick look at some of the biggest changes coming in iOS 11.3 so far, but one of the biggest questions I had is where the battery features were. 
Tim Cook previewed it, Apple previewed it, they said, hey, we're gonna give you a more transparent look at your battery, and you can even disable throttling if you're using a device with a degraded battery if you don't want that slower experience. Right now on iOS 11.3 beta 1, those features are not present. In Apple's official press release, they mentioned that these are coming in a future beta update to iOS 11.3. So we know the features are coming in iOS 11.3, we just don't know exactly when, and that was kind of disappointing. That's all we knew about iOS 11.3 before today. I thought that was going to be the main focus of this update, but Apple has definitely pushed that in the back to refine those features rather than releasing them right away. Finally, if you're a public beta tester and you're curious about when you'll be getting this update, we don't have a release date just yet. Apple has confirmed that for sure a public beta for iOS 11.3 is coming. I would guess probably within the next three or four days. I don't think it will be later today, but there is definitely one coming. You just have to wait and be a little bit patient on that one. So these are just the initial changes that we've discovered in the iOS 11.3 beta. When more are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post linked down below in the description. Feel free to check that out so you know all of the latest features on iOS 11.3, and that is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below, and of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If if you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch, use code beta for 10% off. That would be incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.